In the 1920s, Poland began to strengthen its military and improve its defense, as it was bordered by the intimidating Germany at the time. Unlike other countries, Poland did not have the capacity to build large-scale fortifications like the Maginot Line, so it focused more on conventional military development. The Tatra T-18 armored locomotive was a military weapon ordered from Czechoslovakia by Poland in the mid-1920s, primarily used for combat operations on railway lines. The order was placed with the Koprivnica Vozovka factory in Czechoslovakia, which had no prior experience in manufacturing armored locomotives, having previously produced various types of train carriages. However, the difficulty of manufacturing armored locomotives was not particularly high, and the factory completed the initial design in February 1925. The T-18 was a very compact armored locomotive, about the size of an average family car. The designer first created a powered chassis, and then designed armor on this mobile chassis. The initial design had round armor at the front and rear of the locomotive, which was later changed to flat steel plates. These armor plates were only 6 mm thick, with the turret position having 8 mm thickness, providing protection against 7.62 mm caliber Mauser S bullets at a distance of 100 meters. A layer of additional 5 mm thick armor plates were installed from bottom to top on the underside of the vehicle, perhaps to prevent damage from landmines. A rotatable turret was installed above the middle section of the armored vehicle, with a diameter of only 0.7 meters. According to Polish plans, the turret was supposed to be equipped with a 37 mm cannon and an auxiliary machine gun. However, historical photos show that these locomotives were mostly equipped with various types of machine guns, with no sign of cannons. Below the armored deck inside the vehicle was the power and transmission structure, powered by a T-12 type 4-stroke 2-cylinder gasoline engine producing only 12 horsepower. The central deck inside the vehicle could be opened for engine maintenance, with a small hole for inserting a crank to start the engine, similar to a hand crank tractor. The T-18 had an empty weight of about 3.7 tons, a maximum weight of 5.27 tons, a length of only 3.67 meters, a width of 1.75 meters, a height of 2.1 meters, a wheelbase of 1.5 meters, and a maximum speed of 50 kilometers per hour. The vehicle had an 80-liter fuel tank and a maximum range of 700 kilometers. Operating this small armored locomotive required only three to five people. Even before the T-18 was on paper, Poland ordered the first batch of six units, which were delivered at the end of 1926, numbered 101 to 106. In later production, multiple periscopes were added to improve crew visibility, the turret armor was appropriately enhanced, and an electrical system was installed inside the vehicle for a searchlight at the front of the locomotive, which could emit either red or white light. Although Poland was not very fond of the Tatra T-18 in the early 1930s, considering its weak armor protection, firepower, and mobility, and deeming it an outdated weapon, they still retained them and painted them in various camouflage colors. Until the outbreak of World War II in 1939, T-18 was still in use in the Polish military. In the first few days of the war, these armored locomotives participated in combat and were targeted by aerial bombings or anti-tank guns. They all fell into the hands of the German army, most of them damaged. It is reported that the Germans may have used one or more of them, and modified the armor to asterisk 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 asterisk. asterisk.